Greetings, I'm Larry McCaskill, and welcome to the RDCOM update. The first employees to relocate from Fort Monmouth, New Jersey to Avenue Proving Ground as part of the 2005 base realignment and closure process were welcomed at a recent ribbon cutting ceremony. More than two dozen personnel from the Army's Command, Control, Communications, Computers, Intelligence, Surveillance, and Reconnaissance, or C4ISR, made the move to APG. The move will occur in phases to ensure the, the stability of operations during the relocation. Currently headquartered at Fort Monmouth, the C4 ISR team consists of members from the Communication and Electronic Command, Life Cycle Management Command, and RDECOM's Communication Electronic Research and Development Center. Fort Monmouth and RDECOM leadership are confident in the ability of Team C4 ISR to continue executing their mission. Being honored as a recipient of the 2007 Malcolm Baldrige National Quality Award has magnified the U.S. Army Armaments Research, Development, and Engineering Center's standards. RDEC's Enterprise Excellence System has begun reshaping the organizational culture at the Picatinny Arsenal in New Jersey. Focusing on customer satisfaction, Lean Six Sigma business practices, and a closely monitored quality management system, RDEC has found itself in contention with the best in private industry. Through established in-house business practices, RDEC has made a long-standing commitment to performance excellence and improvement in business practices. Lean Six Sigma project disciplines include engineering, production, business, and management. Innovations in these areas have resulted in savings of more than $700,000. A mechanical engineer with the U.S. Army Research Laboratory was honored for her dedication and community service at this year's Black Engineer of the Year conference held in Baltimore. And Drinker Thomas has more. The U.S. Army Research Development and Engineering Command was proud to honor Yolanda Hinton, a mechanical engineer from the Army Research Laboratory, for her dedication and community service at the 2008 Black Engineer of the Year Awards Conference in Baltimore. The night was filled with skits, singing, and dancing as black engineers from across the country were honored for their achievements. Major General Robinson, RDECOM commander, commended Hinton for her dedication to service. Yolanda Hinton works daily to support her soldiers. She is a key member of the U.S. Army Research Development Engineering Command Team. As part of the conference weekend, Major General Robinson and Command Sergeant Major Hector Marin also attended the Stars and Stripes HBCU Dean's Breakfast to show support of Ms. Hinton's accomplishments. When I spoke with Ms. Hinton, she clearly recalls how she became involved in community service. I first got involved with community service when I was in high school. A friend and I, uh, looking to do something after school, volunteered with the Sickle Cell Awareness Group in Cincinnati. Working in community service is not something she does for recognition, but for the bigger reward of helping a young person find his or her path in life. I uh, have tutored kids and seeing their face light up when they finally get something that they've been struggling to understand uh, gives me a lot of enjoyment. RDECOM is proud to be comprised of engineers like Ms. Hinton as she takes pride in her work and contribution to the mission. Working for the Warfighter, this is Andrika Thomas for RDECOM Update. The U.S. Army Research Development and Engineering Command exhibited some of its cutting-edge technologies at the Western Conference and Exposition in San Diego, California recently. RDECOM scientists and engineers in the communication, electronic, and intelligence fields display technologies such as SWORDS Robotics, digital tactical holograms, and the combat feeding system. RDCOM organizations displaying their initiatives included the U.S. Army Natick Soldier Research Development and Engineering Center, the U.S. Army Armament Research Development and Engineering Center, the U.S. Army Research Laboratory, and the U.S. Army Simulation and Training Technology Center. A team from the Aviation and Missile Research Development and Engineering Center recently received the Defense Manufacturing Excellence Award from the Association for Manufacturing Technology. The team managed to reduce the weight of a Black Hawk helicopter. The lighter weight means increased performance, longer time on station, and an improved center of gravity. Besides weight, other benefits of this project include a reduction in corrosion, fewer parts, and fewer fasteners. The $22 million project ran from 2003 to 2007. The U.S. Army Native Soldier Research and Development and Engineering Center's WISE program, that stands for Women in Science and Engineering, hosted a visit and tour for more than 200 students from the Wilson Middle School in Natick, Massachusetts. 
The visit provided students with a better understanding of Natick's research and development efforts and encouraged them to explore educational opportunities in the science and engineering fields. The Edgewood Chemical and Biological Center recently signed two new agreements with the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency as part of its ongoing support of that agency's National Homeland Security Research Center. Under one agreement, ECBC will assess the impact of various gases on electronic equipment and implementation of decontamination methods. Under the second agreement, ECBC will develop performance evaluation standards for research studies involving multiple laboratories to assure the integrity of study data. RDECOM had a major presence in the Army Material Command's display at this year's Association of the United States Army Winter Meeting. This year's theme was Supporting America's Best. It's all about the soldiers. During the three-day event, RDECOM leadership participated in panel discussions to include science and technology transition to the future combat systems and transition of science and technology to the global war on terror. You've been watching the RDECOM update. I'm Larry McCaskill saying farewell and asking, what have you done for the warfighter today?